Hi, George here. Hope it didn't scare you. Anyways, what I want to do in this video is just simply go over some of the features of the Servo U ventilator in case you don't have one in your unit or you're getting one soon and you just want to see what's different between it and the Servo I or maybe you're just getting a Servo for the first time in general. Anyways, let's take a look at this ventilator. I'll take the uh, camera off the tripod again. So bear with me while we go around here. Alrighty. Now we're back in business. Hey, you can see me in the screen. Hi there. Anyways, this is the uh, Servo U ventilator. I'm hoping I said Servo U at the beginning because that's what it is. Anyway, it's already been circuited. Circuits on there almost appropriately for my liking. Now, let's start off with the screen. Right here on the screen, it's a completely touch control screen. There are no hard knobs, if you will, on this that you can turn. It's all touch screen. Now on the front of the ventilator, this is where the gas comes out of the ventilator and goes to the patient. So from here, goes to the humidifier. Gas gets humidified. And then on this side, goes to the patient via the patient Y and then exhale, gas gets exhaled. So gas goes back into the ventilator right over here. This is the expiratory cassette or the expiratory valve mechanism on the servo U ventilator. It's on the front um, pushing in in that direction rather than side to side on the servo U. So it's a bit of a difference. Okay. This is for upgrades, software upgrades and stuff like that, battery packs, and then there's nothing at the bottom except the stand or the base of the stand. And the wheels of course are locking wheels, so make sure your wheels are locked prior to doing any kind of pre-use check or setting the ventilator up by the patient. A couple other things on the ventilator. It's got the support arm. This support arm is slightly different, but you can put any support arm on there that you want to have. Okay. Another thing, there's that, uh, you can see right over here, that long tube that we need to use the, do the pre-use check on. And it's got this handy bracket that I made myself here to hang that on there. That's an old stylet. It's never been used on a patient, but I just simply took that stylet as a means to hold that support arm, or to a uh, means to hold this tubing on so you don't lose it. And you can use other tubings as well, but just kind of neat to have the one that comes with the ventilator attached to the ventilator. All right? If we go back on this side, nothing really there except a holder for the electrical cords as well as the pneumatic cords. Nothing on the side. There's no uh, nebulizer built into this ventilator. Now this is the back of the unit. This is where the gas exhausts out of the expiratory filter or the expiratory cassette. I mean, you got some covers over here that are filters. Now with the uh, servo eye, the uh, on-off switch is at the back of the ventilator. This ventilator does not have an on-off switch in the display. The on-off switch is actually behind this door. That's a door. So if you just go and open the door, pop that open like so, and you go way to the top of the door inside here, there's your on-off switch right there. To turn the ventilator on, you have to pull down on this and then switch it over to the right. That turns the unit on. And likewise, to turn it off, pull down on this, flip it to the left. That turns the unit off. Has some other ports for, uh, you know, inputs or outputs for the ventilator. This is where the high pressure gas hoses go onto the ventilator itself, and where the power cords attach as well for the unit to go to electricity or your electrical outlet. When you close the door, just make sure that these hoses line up in there and then it's easier to close the door properly. There, nice and closed. Nothing else on this side of the ventilator at all, right there. So in essence, that's the Servo U. What we're gonna do next on the Servo U is simply fire it up and do the pre-use check on the unit as well. If you like this video, please let me know. Hit like. If you didn't like this video, also let me know how I can make it better. Otherwise, ugh, once I get it back on the stand, this has been George showing you the Servo U ventilator. Have a great day.